super big hugs. Welcome to Coaching for the Rest of Us. My name is Leslie Catherine, and I'm so super excited to be here. Did you ever have some place to go? Did you ever have some place to go that you wanted to go? Did you ever have some place to go that you did not want to go, but maybe you had to? Adulting is so hard. Sad face. I don't. I don't want to go. Remember when you were a kid and you didn't want to go someplace, you just drop on the floor and kick your legs? <laughs> okay, stay with me. So you're in this thing and you're with adults and you asked or told or persuaded or guilted to go. And instead of having this conversation about why you don't want to go, why it's a bad idea for you to go, and why you're just, you know what? We'll shelf that. We'll table that for later. What if you just dropped on the floor and held your breath? <laughs> I bet you're not going because you'd probably pass out. <laughs> Sometimes there's places that we have to go because as we have established, adulting is super hard. So what if it's a place that you want to go and you need to go, but that you're afraid to go? What if you don't know if you have what it takes to, to go there or, or to do this? So what do you do? What if you're one of those people, guilty as charged, that it has to be perfect or you don't want to go. If it's not the perfect blur, if it's not the perfect something, not going to do it. Hmm. Well, I, I guess that's a choice. <laughs> I, I guess that's a choice. Or sometimes when you just go and you just show up, and you bring the body and the mind will follow. You bring the body and the motivation will follow. You bring the body. Just show up. Is that some kind of like bizarre fake it till you make it? Kind of, yeah. Sometimes you don't have the motivation. Sometimes you don't have the confidence. Sometimes you just don't have the thing to get you to go to the other thing. You just, you don't got it. I'm not feeling it today. But you still have to do the thing. You still have to do it. So how do you do it? You show up. You show up. And the motivation is going to follow. You show up and the follow through follows. A lot of that comes down to that fear thing. You know, we're going to pull back from what we're afraid of. We're going to pull back from what's painful because that's a survival mechanism. And you're beautiful, you going to pull back. It keeps you alive physically. It keeps you alive spiritually. It keeps you alive emotionally. Going to pull back. But sometimes there's just that factor of just show up. Just show up. I'm not feeling it, but I have to do it. Okay? So you honor that you're not feeling it, but you still do the thing. Sometimes you gotta do the thing. There is that tricky balance. Balance, balance, balance. 
oh, uh, in parentheses, balance is not BS. Balance can happen. One little baby step at a time, but balance can happen. The balance comes from having those feelings because, because, wait for it, Feelings are your friends, and friends need to be acknowledged, and friends need to be honored. Sometimes you honor your friends, and you just show up. You just show up. Well, I don't, I don't want to show up, Leslie Catherine, because that feels unauthentic, and I want to be my authentic self. <laughs> Newsflash! You are you, you are you, whether you're being authentic or not. God, words of power. Sometimes we get these phrases in coaching that sound good, but don't produce good results. I'm not going to go to that because I want to be my authentic self. I'm not going to go to the gym because I don't feel like it. I want to be authentic. Well, couldn't you be authentic walking in your little running shoes? Get it? Walking in your running shoes? Walking in your little running shoes to the gym? Couldn't you be your authentic self going to look online for a school that you want to go to? I'm not... I'm not feeling it. I, I'm not feeling it. Uh huh. I get it. I get it. It's fear. It's fear. Here's the problem words have power, but choose your consequences. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Choose your consequences. How are you going to feel? When you begin to say, I'm not going to do that thing because I'm scared, okay? Sometimes you got to feel the fear and do it anyway. You show up. Because here's what happens. Once you do it, twice you do it, three times, four times, five times, we now have a pattern what that pattern is, is that when you become scared or unsure, you slam those brakes on. Ah! And what's going to happen? All those survival mechanisms are going to kick in and you're going to pull back from the pain and the fear because you want to stay alive. Okay. You want to stay alive. Good for you. Are you living? Are you living? Every time that you feel that you're not feeling it. So we're not going to do the thing. We're not going to go pursue our super awesome something. We're not going to do the shift. Okay. Are you living? Are you living? Chances are you're not. You're surviving. Not every single something or shift or the next thing or, you know, just literally just throw whatever phrase you want in there. Throw it in there, baby. Boop, into the coaching melting pot. Pick a phrase, any phrase. Pick a phrase, any phrase. You're not always going to feel it. Show up. Show up. I don't like talking about the discipline factor. Let's just talk about the results factor. When you show up, you create a pattern of doing the next thing, doing the next thing. Baby steps are still moving. Baby steps are still moving. Baby steps are still moving. You're moving. And you're moving. And you're moving. And you're moving. Show up. If you're not feeling it and you show up, you kind of can't feel any worse.
Thank you so super much for spending time with me. I am Leslie Catherine, NLP Master Coach, and this has been coaching for the rest of us. If you enjoyed my video, would you pretty please hit that like button? Boop! And if you really enjoyed my video, would you pretty please hit that subscribe button? Boop! And as long as you're hitting buttons and stuff, hit that ringy ding thing and let you know when we put out another video. Thank you so super much. Extra big hugs.